Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have my final project pan check-in for my 2021 project pan. I didn't want to kind of leave you hanging with the update on this video because I did keep the project up for the whole of 2021. I felt it was only fair that I did film a finale video by way of an update. Still hanging in there, still heavily pregnant. No baby just yet, but like I said, I just wanted to do this video. I also have it in mind to do a kind of final empties video as well because I've been going through things quite a lot in the past month or so. I've changed the way I'm kind of approaching things when it comes to especially my skincare. I do always have my Shop My Stash skincare drawer, which was a monthly video on my channel. But because I was constantly trying new skincare and not being very good at finishing things up, I've decided to change tact now and I'm kind of going for a one out, one in system. So I'm not putting something new into the box until I've finished a product up. So it has really helped in making me finish something up before trying something new. And I'm not even attempting to look at my overflowing new skincare box. I'm just working on products that are open. But why don't we get into my project pan final update of 2021, even though I know it's 2022. Well, first of all, with this toner from Pixi, this is the Retinol Tonic. As I'm talking, I will be putting in little videos showing the previous updates throughout the course of the year. I believe the last check-in I did was in September. From the side, you can see here, wherever it's gone, there, where I've marked with a Sharpie. I've actually done quite well with this one. Obviously, this is going to be slightly more difficult because to fit the products in frame, I am having to tilt them. Hopefully, I've marked all of them properly with a Sharpie. I suppose that technically means I don't need to do any clips for this final check-in because you're close enough to be able to see anyway. So here is the progress throughout the course of the year. I've basically worked my way down the label. This is a product that I didn't absolutely love. And to be honest, if it wasn't in my project pan, I probably would have decluttered it quite a while ago. I am quite pleased with the progress that I've made with it, but I just don't think I'm going to want to reach this one for much longer. So I'm actually going to declutter this one from my collection now. I think I've had enough of this one. It was quite a big bottle. I didn't really notice that it did anything to my skin. It was just an okay product to use. So. At least I've made a good go on it. I'm over halfway, but time to call it quits with this one. The next product is from Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water. Again, another one that I don't absolutely love. I have made a really good go on this product and it, it's hard to show because again, I have after having to tilt it, but these are the first updates. There's no first line at the top here because this was brand new when I put it into the project. So these are the lines from the previous check-ins. The only one I can remember is this one being September. This one was probably about May. So I've made steady progress with it, but not much. And it's a product that, yes, okay, it was nice and refreshing to use, especially in the summer. But I didn't really notice any difference with it making my makeup last any longer or anything like that. I tried it as both a primer water and a setting spray but I just didn't absolutely love it it's got a nice pleasant smell to it but I just I can't see myself going to the extra step of using this going forward if I want a primer I'll go for a kind of proper primer as it were not just this primer water so another product that I am going to actually declutter from my collection I did also have another primer in the project and this one is from Stila this is the one step correct skin skin tone correcting and brightening serum and if you can just about see from what's left there, this is one of those multicoloured skin tone correcting serums. So it did have blue, green and orange in it. The issue I had with this one is once it was all kind of pumped out because it did all sort of mush together, it was a predominantly green colour corrector. So it didn't necessarily do what I needed it to do. As you can see, I did have a good go at this one. Again, I've been quite consistent in how much I've used it up. I did try and use it quite a bit throughout the course of December just to see if I could get it finished up. But I wasn't quite so lucky. There is still a little bit of product here. But again, it's another one that I don't love enough to kind of keep around my collection. Part of me wants to just try and finish it because there's not much left. But I just know if I'm not having it in a project pan and kind of forcing myself to use it in that respect, I'm probably not going to want to reach for it. I have so many other primers in my collection that I like so much more. And I was just using this for the project, so three out of three products that I gave a good go to but then I'm going to leave my collection. Next we have a kind of success story and this is a product I have actually completely finished up. This is from Flower Beauty and is one of their petal pout lip masks. I was using this as a lip balm more than anything rather than a kind of overnight sleep mask or anything like that. I was making quite steady progress with this over the course of the year 
but this is a project that has probably lived on my desk for the past couple of months while I was finishing off work because I was determined to try and at least finish one product up for this update and I'm so proud of myself that I did do it with this one. To be honest, something that did make me want to use it up that little bit more quicker is about kind of six weeks ago when I was using it, I noticed that it didn't taste right. I know you're not obviously supposed to eat it, but it just didn't taste as good as it used to and it still smelled sweet but just not quite right so I think it might be on the turn so common sense should have possibly said to stop using it at that point but it wasn't terrible it didn't smell completely off it just wasn't quite right so that's why I decided to just go all out and try and finish it up so I'm really glad that I did so very happy that this one can legitimately go into my empties basket next I had a concealer in from Maybelline this is the instant age rewind eraser eye this is a product that I've had for longer than I care to admit. It's probably one of, if not the oldest concealer in my collection. For me, it still works absolutely fine. But because I went through a phase of just trying new concealers, this one got completely neglected in my collection, which is why I put it in the project pan for this year. I've not been as good since the last update with this one, but before that, I was pretty consistent with how much I was kind of using it. I normally tend to try and keep the products on display that are in my project pan to remind me to reach for them but this one did get put away. I think I had it in an everyday makeup drawer and it went back in my normal concealer's drawer so I did kind of forget about it. Why the line hasn't moved very far since the last update because I did only remember to pull it out a few weeks ago. If I was doing a project pan for 2022 I probably would have put this in there to be honest out of curiosity to see how long it would take to go through the rest of it because at this point I've probably used about half which in a year isn't the best but We'll see how we get on over the next year or so. So I'm just not officially doing a project pan for this year. Another lip product in here. This is a lip oil from e.l.f. This is the one in the shade Berry Kiss, which won't focus. I did unfortunately look this over not long before filming, so it hasn't settled quite right. I think where I've put my line is hopefully the right place, but looking at it now, I might have used a little bit more than I thought. So this one I don't believe was in the project from the beginning of the year. I think this one came in at the first update, which I do believe is around about May. We have pretty good progress with this one. I would say I'm now about halfway through, which considering how many lip products I have, I'm quite proud of. I didn't expect to finish it by the end of the year, if I'm honest, but again, it's another one though. If I was doing the project plan for 2022, I probably would put this one forward because I'm intrigued as to how long it'll take to go through the remainder of this one. It is one I do tend to reach for more in the winter months, so I am surprised that I haven't used this one more since the last update. But to be honest, I was kind of focusing on that one from Flower Beauty. This was the kind of product that would live on my work desk to just apply throughout the course of the day. But because the Flower Beauty one was there, that's probably why it's not moved as much. But I'm still glad I've used it some. Then finally, we have some powder products. The first one is this bronzer from Benefit. This is the original Hula bronzer. This is a tiny sample of a product that I've had in my collection since 2017 and have still not hit pan. I don't understand how that is possible considering how much I've used this product. I don't know if you will be able to see very well, but there is a bit of a dip in the middle because I have gone quite ham with this in the past couple of months, but still no pan. And I don't even know how much product is in here because it doesn't say, but it can't be much at all can notice a bit of a difference with the imprint from the last couple of updates. I do feel like I have made a bit more of an effort in the past month or so to try and finish it up because I did say if I didn't finish this one up at the end of the year, I was just going to get rid of it because it's probably long expired at this point. So yeah, it turns out it's pretty impossible to finish one of these samples of the Hula Bronzer. I can only imagine how long it would take to actually finish up a full size of one of these. This isn't even really a travel size one. This is literally a sample of it. It's just insane that this has lasted me four years. Yes, okay, I've not used it constantly for four years, but still, I've reached into it a fair amount. So this is another product that I am going to be decluttering from my collection. I've got enough bronzers. It's not my all-time favourite bronzer anyway, and I'm kind of fed up of seeing the sight of it in my collection, if I'm honest. Then we have some setting powders. The first one is from Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Powder. I have this one in the shade LN3. It looks like it's had a bit of a collision with some concealer. This has quickly become one of my favourite setting powders. I do go through phases between preferring a loose powder and then a pressed powder. But I would say pressed powder, this has definitely been the favourite thing that I've tried in 2021. Obviously, if I was doing any roundup videos or anything like that, 
this would be featured. Such a nice powder that goes on the skin really smoothly. It also does provide a little bit of coverage, which is nice. So sometimes when I go in with a more lighter coverage foundation, it just finishes it off and just makes me feel a bit more complete. I have in the past month or so pulled out again the foundation from The Ordinary. I think it's the Serum Foundation. I found it at the back of my drawer and to be honest, completely forgot that I had it. That is a really lightweight not much coverage foundation that paired with this powder is kind of in the perfect look of what I've been going for. It's not cakey or anything like that and it just looks like fresh and nice on the skin. Update wise, I feel like the dent in this one has gone a bit bigger. It's really hard to show though. Two lines there which are the bottom of the pan which you can see pretty prominently now I think. I don't think they were that prominent on the last update so I have definitely gone in with this one quite a lot. I don't think this product has been discontinued. I know what people are saying in the States that they are struggling to get hold of it, but I do believe we can still get it here. It's one of those products where I have a lot of setting powders, so probably don't technically need a backup, but I love it that much that I would hate for it to be discontinued. So at this point, because I'm so close to hitting pan, I think, I'm not too sure whether to get a backup of this one or not, but it is a fantastic powder, and if you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. The other setting powder I had in here is this one from Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I've got this one in the shade Fair Light. This did used to be one of my favourite loose setting powders until I tried the one from Beauty Bakery. That one is so much more finely milled and just looks a lot better on the skin. This one still looks really nice and it does give a little bit more coverage than the one from Beauty Bakery. But I have to be careful with this one sometimes because it can look a little bit too cakey dependent on the foundation that I pair it with. Update wise, kind of slowly but surely with this one. I find that with a loose setting powder, I definitely go in with less than when I'm using a pressed setting powder. So I'm not surprised that the line has hardly moved down at all. And I also don't think I've reached for this one very much in the past month. This was probably more September, October that I reached for this one. So it's not the best amount of progress. I mean, I think I'm over halfway through now. It's just obviously hard to gauge with this kind of product because technically it should be stored like this, but it's just easier for a project to kind of mark the lines this way. Just need to force myself to use it a bit more and not just completely rely on the beauty bakery one when i want a loose setting powder so that is that one and then the final product that i tried to pan was an eyeshadow it is from this ColourPop palette which is the you had me at hello palette which is the first ColourPop palette that i ever tried and in particular i'm trying to pan this shade here which is called winning ticket i definitely think i have made progress from the last update Feel like i have got a bit more of a dip in the middle there quite hard to kind of show but i think i've made some progress i didn't think i would hit pan on this one by the end of the year to be honest i was just intrigued as to how much progress i could make on a single shadow considering how much i should have got in my collection so yeah i'm not disappointed i'm actually further along than i kind of thought i would be i just have so much eyeshadow it's really hard to keep remembering to reach for this palette because me personally I do just like to grab one palette and do a complete look with that palette so in that respect I'm sort of proud of myself that I've made as much progress as I have. So that was the update on all 10 products in my project pan from 2021. I feel like it's more successful than I remember 2020 being not just generally as a year but I feel like there wasn't a single product that was stagnant whereas I think in 2020 I had a couple of products that I just didn't make any progress with whereas here I feel like I've been quite consistent throughout the course of the year so I definitely picked the right products to put in it and out of the 10 products there are technically half of them that are leaving my collection one because I've completely finished it up and four because I'm decluttering them so that's quite an effective way to get through things in my collection not necessarily just finishing them up but giving them them that one last year long hurrah sort of thing so like I said earlier, I'm hoping to get an MTs video filmed, whether it be in one sitting or two, because this video has kind of taken it out of me breath-wise, if I'm honest. I'll hopefully be able to get that MTs video up in the next couple of weeks. And then after that, I'm not sure what's going to be going on with my channel. So stay tuned and obviously stick notifications on so you are alerted to whenever I upload a video. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.